Here we go. So let's all come and stand on our mats and get ready in pirate stance, which is really just mountain pose. Are you okay, Toby? Yeah, good. All right, here we go. Hands together, feet together, standing tall like a pirate. No, apart, sorry, feet apart. Ready? And we have a little song for this sun salutation as well. Do you promise to sing it with me, guys, so I don't feel all alone out here? So it's like this. Turn sideways on your mat. Ready? I am a pirate. I am amazing. I am important. I am enough. Why? Not because of what I have. Not because of how I look. Or because of what I can do. So you jump up. So just because I live on the sea. Good, let's do it again. Okay, one more at least, we get the hang of it. So it's a sun salutation like normal pirate words. I am a pirate, I am amazing. I am important, I am enough. Why? Not because of what I have, not because of how I look, or because of what I can do. So. Just because I am me. One more. I am a pirate. I am amazing. I am important. I am enough. Why? Not because of what I have, not because of how I look, or because of what I can do. So, just because I live on the sea. Perfect. Let's do our warm up of elevator, our favorite partner pose to get us going. We stand back to back, link arms. Now, if you don't have a partner, you just squat, okay? Lean against each other and you start to squat down. So slowly, 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 okay. <laughs> and then you push back against each other and stand up, good, do it again. Slowly, 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 back up, 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 up. Good, one more. Down, 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 up, 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 up we go, well done. Or we can just squat it down, bring it up a couple of times. That's it, Jamie, you got it. Down and up, one more, down and up. Fab, very good. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is boat. Well done, pirates. Boat pose, sit down on your own to begin with and have your feet a little bit ahead of you. Hold on to the back of your knees. Nice, happy back. Lift your feet up. Arms out ahead. Nice, strong tummy. Lifting up. Big breath in. Breathe out, bring it down. Boat is easy. Double boat. A little harder. Get your partner. If you have a partner, now guys, if you don't have a partner, you're still a boat. And we've got a song coming up here as well. Do you know the song, Cleo? No. Okay, so hold hands, hold feet together, knees, bring your knees together, okay? Now lift your feet up one at a time. There we go, and you're in your boat. Okay, stay up. We've got a song. It goes like this. You ready? What is it? We're going this way, that way, over and back. We're going this way, that way, over and back, over the Irish Sea. A bottle of rum to fill my tum, and that's all right with me. That's it. Bring it down. Now let's make it a bit harder. Well done, guys. Hands together, feet apart. So go wide with your knees. Take your time and get your feet up. Can you do that? Get your feet up. Oh, I hate this. Up we come. Up, 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 up. We're up. We're in the boat. Are you ready? And we're going this way, that way, forwards and backwards over the Irish Sea. A bottle of rum to fill my tum, and that's all right with me. Cool. <laughs> Bring it on down. What do you think of when you think of um, a pirate's ship? I always think of a plank. Don't you always think of a plank? I'm walking the plank? Well, or what? I think of a treasure chest. A treasure chest. That's going to show up later. Plank pose. Are you ready? Guys, we're going to come onto our hands and knees. And we're going to take the weight into the hands, stretch one leg back to make your leg like a plank. Keep your head forward, so look where you're going, and stretch the other leg back. Super strong, strong enough that somebody could walk down your back. Hold it, breathe, super strong tummy muscles. 
Brilliant. Head forwards, Theo, shoulders forwards. Mm, funny looking plank. And then down we come. <laughs> That's okay. And now, do, no, you can't walk on my back. Don't try that. Now we're going to take our plank pose and turn it into a bunk bed. So a bunk bed is like two planks, basically, because this is what the pirates sleep in. Toby and Evie, would you guys like to demonstrate this for us? Toby, are you going to be the bottom bunk? Yes. Okay, Toby's really nearly asleep. He slept in the garden last night like a real pirate. Bring your <laughs> a pirate who had anchored his ship. Toby, you take your arms straight up. Now you see Evie is the top half of the bunk. She puts her hands on the floor. Oh, look, there's a great pirate outfit. And um, now try it again, guys. The pirate on the bottom has been drinking the rum and he's gone a bit wobbly. Get that arm up there. That's it. And now the other one as well. Look at what you're doing there, Toby. You got it. Now head forwards, Evie. Could somebody sleep on that top bunk? Yes. I'd say they could. Wow. Good work, guys. No, it's okay. No one's going to sleep on you. Maybe a teddy bear. Okay. Theo, do you want to lie? Will I lie down and hold your ankles? Yes. So I think probably if you're doing this with your mommy or daddy, I think it's probably best if the bigger person is on the bottom. Okay. So Theo and I will demonstrate it that way. And you guys can just give it a go. Okay. So the big per bigger person on the ground, Theo, you're going to put your feet either side of my ankles, not on my ankles. Okay. It's too hard. All right. Give me one ankle up here. Yeah. Okay. Theo's going to be on the bottom. Let's go. Fingers crossed this works. Hold, my, hold me nice and steady. Now straight arms. Here we go. Hands on the floor. Get me scarf out of the way. There's a lot of jewelry going on. Okay, here I go. You got me? You got me now? Ready? Good. Hold it. Breathe. Not too bad, Theo. Now down. Perfect. That works. A hammock. A hammock. Stay there for a second. Lift your tummy a bit more, honey. And down you come. Well done. Really good. Okay, so that's where they sleep. Who's on the boat? Pirates. Well, yeah. And one of them only has one leg. So come on up onto your feet and let's be a one-legged pirate. You ready? So you stand on one leg, hide your leg. Like just pretend you have only one and a half legs. Yeah, you got it? That's easy enough, but can you, we'll move back here a bit. <laughs> can you, could you do that if you'd only one eye? What if you'd no, what if you'd no, no eyes? Missing, what if you'd no eyes? I'm on the same side as my missing leg. Try your other leg, see if it's better. It's actually very hard to balance on one leg with only one eye. <laughs> it's really confusing, isn't it? Um, no eyes are easier. It's even harder with no eyes. I think it's nearly impossible. That's it. Give it a go. Cool. And you know what's sitting up on that? Very good, guys. Do you know what's sitting up on that pirate's shoulder? A parrot. So we're going to do eagle, to, eagle pose to pretend to be a parrot. Here's how we do eagle. Look, it's all right. You bring your knee up. You bring your arms in like this. So these are like your wings. And you can wrap your arms around like that. Okay. And then, see that leg there in front? You know, wrap that around. Evie knock me over. You see that there? Now, if you're not very steady in it, turn back to back. Or stand with your back at a wall. So you will go back to back. Just stand tall. One leg over the other. Wrap it around. And you can hold arms. Whoa. Okay, that's worse. That's worse. <laughs> oh, it's impossible. Okay, I'll try with Evie. I think it's harder. Oh. oh, okay. Oh, there we go. We got it. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. What else would you find? Oh, you know what else you'd find on a pirate ship? A monkey. Stand with your feet a little bit apart. Squat down. Swing your arms. Have a little scratch. That's it. Squat down, give a little jump. A little scramble around the ship. 
that's it. Okay. How about a spider? Here's how you do spider. You're like this. I'll demonstrate. Go ahead. You cross your hands, fingers on the floor like that. And then you lift your heels up. Yeah, that's it. Like that. Brilliant. Yeah, you can move. <laughs> good. That's good. And then you, you just kind of squat your, your hips quite low, but your heels really up high. Okay. Okay. What about a mouse? Be a mouse. Love mouse. Mouse pose right down here. Hundred percent. There's mice on that ship. Hundred percent. Quiet as you can. Make yourself as tiny as you can. Good. Okay. Come on up onto your knees, and we're going to be the sails of the ship. So you know the way the sail of the ship kind of curves. We're going to do camel pose to be the sail. So that's it, knees apart. Turn sideways, Theo, to show the guys what you're doing, because that's very good. Hands on your heels, and then you lift up, even out of the way there so they can see Theo. Go ahead, Theo. Lift your chest up. You don't have to put your head back, but if it feels good, do. So if it's easier, keep your toes tucked under. Keep your hands on your hips. That's it, Evie. You can put your hands on your heels. Now go slow. Just lift your chest up. It feels so nice. Breathe and feel like the wind is filling up that sail. I love that. And then mouse. After that, mouse is nice. Back to being a mouse. So right down on your heels. And breathe. So nice, isn't it? Good. And I'm going to give you another one that's uh, kind of challenging but fun. Uh, so it's pigeon, but today we're going to use it to be, you know, on the front of the ship where there's like, like a mermaid on the front of the ship. So we're going to do it like this. We have one knee forwards, one leg back. You kind of sit down like that there. Okay. So your knee is forwards, but your foot is sort of out to the side under your body. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. So one leg back, you're doing it. That's it. Toby, you see your front foot, send it towards the telly, towards the screen. Yeah, that's it. Now stretch your back leg back. Good. Now, do you want to make it a bit more challenging? You bend your back leg and you reach one hand back to hold it. Now pull back with your foot. Breathe. You know, you're doing it perfectly. Go for it. That's it. Now lift your chest up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it? Now push your foot back. Push your foot, oh, that's okay. If it's too hard, don't. No, the other leg, Evie, the other leg. So, kind of, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Turn forwards, turn forwards. This is kind of tricky, isn't it? Let go of your leg. Bring that knee forwards, that one forwards. Face forwards, okay? Now stretch this one right back, right back, okay? Look forwards, there. Now bend this leg up. Now reach back with one hand. Yeah. Now lift your chest up. Push your foot back. <laughs> you got it? It's too hard. Jamie, that looks fabulous. Jamie's doing bow. Oh, look at Panda. <laughs> one try it on the other leg. So if it's too hard to bend the back leg, just swap. Put the other knee in front and don't bend the back leg. So even put your other knee in front. I think this keeps banging off the microphone, does it? Um, yeah, that's it. You've swapped over, have you, Theo? Yeah. Other knee in front. Stretch your leg back. Good. Now you just want to kind of open your chest up. That's it. Oh, yeah. You see, it's just like that shape at the front of the ship. Beautiful. Look up. <laughs> open up. Beautiful. All right. We have... You'll open up and sneeze. We have on our, on our ship a map, and on that map is an arrow. Let's do arrow. So I'll talk you through it. Everybody lie on your side. Put your hand on the floor. Do you remember last week we were doing something a bit like this? Put your hand on the floor, that one. Straighten out both legs. Now take your top leg, bend your knee up and put your foot on the floor behind you. Okay. Now push down into your hand and both feet and lift the top hand up. Good. Now, can you lift the bent leg and point the knee up at the sky? 
hover there. Yes. yes I did. You got it, guys. You got it. Brilliant, Toby. Evie. Yeah. Bring it down. Let's try the other side. So turn over onto the other side. Start off with, with both your legs together. And then you put your top leg. Yes, Theo. You put your top leg on the floor behind. Push down and lift up. So both feet are on the floor for a sec. Your hand to the sky. You've got it, Toby. Now lift your top knee up. Go for it. Breathe. Keep breathing. You'll get that balance. Keep going. Yeah. Now you got it. Fabulous. Well done. Bring it down. It's pointing to a palm tree. Well, it's pointing to a cluster of palm trees or maybe one lone palm tree. Depends on your map. Ours is a cluster. Let's stand up on our feet. Oh, here we go. Theo, don't pull me over now. Don't. We stand on one foot and we let the other foot come up. Me and Theo are kind of a complicated palm tree here. And now reach out your palms. <laughs> Look at that. That's brilliant. That's brilliant. Look at all the palm trees. Brilliant. Well done, everybody. <sighs> okay, swap around. Do the other leg. Do the other leg. Ready? So get your, now don't pull your partner. Stand on your own uh, roots. Okay. Theo is a, a tree made of spaghetti. <laughs> Standing tall. That's it, palms out. You got it, guys. What kinds of shapes going on? Brilliant. You're making it look easy. A lot better than this cluster of palm trees. <laughs> okay, okay. Under the palm tree, under the palm tree is a treasure chest. <laughs> We're going to sit down on the floor, legs out in front. Okay. And close your treasure chest. Close it over. Put your head right down in there. Close in. Even your treasure chest wide open. <laughs> hide. Hide your treasure. Now we're going to open it up. Open it up. And then make a diamond out of your legs. Glittering diamonds in your treasure chest. Beautiful diamonds, all shapes and sizes. Maybe your diamond falls over. It's more like that. Okay. Like a clam. Oh, do you know what? It could be like a pearl in a clam. Why don't we make one of those as part of the treasure? Yeah. So we'll do clam pose. Evie had a great idea. And her treasure chest is a clam shell with a pearl inside. Nearly. Here's how you do clam. You put your feet apart. It's like a really uh, white little, a bit like turtle. So you bring your hands together down between your legs around the outside of the feet. I think for clam, actually, you bring your feet together. That's, what you, that's the difference. Feet are together. <laughs> Take a big breath in. Toby's got a little pearl. He's going to hide it in his shell. Close in. Yeah, I love that. Do you love that? So stay there. Give yourself... Toby's pearl has escaped. Oh no. It's okay. It's okay. Close up your, your clam now. Put your pearl inside there. Hide your treasure. Perfect. One more breath. Hide your pearl. In you go. And then up we come. Up we come. Oh, beautiful. That's beautiful. Okay, guys, stretch your legs out long. Let's be a little fish in the ocean swimming alongside that uh, pirate ship. You can keep your pearl with you if you can keep it safe. Everybody sit down with your legs out straight. Come back onto your elbows. Put your hands in underneath your bum. Okay. And now lift your chest up and drop your head back. Oh, so nice. Stay with it, take a big breath in. And then lie down. Everybody just go ahead and lie down and bring your knees up into your body. Give yourself a little hug here, a little rock, a little roll. 
And then why don't we, while we're here, have a little twist. Roll your legs over to one side. Roll it back to the middle, over the other way. That's it, Theo, you got it. And then back to the middle and be a little happy baby. I don't know what happy babies have to do with pirates, but there's probably a happy pirate baby somewhere. So you hold your feet. You have a little roll here on your back. A little stretch out through your baby legs. That's it. Lovely. And then relax and let your legs come down to the floor. Let your arms rest on the floor. Ooh. And it is time to relax. So imagine now as you lie back here, that you are lying back in your pirate ship and you're just bobbing over the waves. Lying back, feeling the breath rising up and down like the waves on the ocean. And if you have your little piece of treasure, put it right on your belly button and let your breath push that treasure up and down. Don't touch it with your hands and see if you can just feel it moving up and down with your breath. So you don't have to do a big push up of your tummy. Relax, just relax and let your breath. And guys, if you don't have a little bit of treasure, but maybe you have a teddy, uh, you could put that on your tummy or you could just put your, your own hands on your tummy. And the trick is not to try to move your tummy. The trick is to relax and notice that when you're really relaxed, just like a little baby when they're asleep, their tummy goes up and down, their lovely little baby tummy, just because they have no worries. So they just breathe and their belly just goes up and down. Can you feel that there? Mm, so relaxing. You've got to let go of any worries and just feel your tummy going up and down. No, not huge big breaths here, not trying to make it really big, not at all. This is the breath you breathe when you're asleep. The breath you breathe when you're busy concentrating on something else. And the only difference here, yeah, when you're trying to figure out complicated maths or remember how to write the letter B. <laughs> Which way does it go? <laughs> so, <laughs> but the difference is that you're feeling your breath. You're not thinking about the letter B or your multiplication. Move back a bit there, Theo. Move back a little bit. Oh, yeah? You're just thinking about your breath. Okay. Do you feel nice and relaxed? Because now we're going to go on an adventure. So you're on your boat and you're drifting along. Maybe you have somebody else on that boat who's steering and rowing the boat for you. Maybe it's a sailboat. Maybe it's a pirate ship. Or maybe it's just a little rowboat. You feel what your boat is here. Okay? Lie back in it. Imagine it's a sunny day. Nice peaceful sea. Just bobbing along. Nothing too stormy. Just really nice and relaxing. And then your boat. Your boat floats along on the ocean and lands on the shore of a tropical beach. You step off your boat. Maybe you have to wade through the water to get to the shore. And you step onto the really soft sand, really warm, soft sand. And you walk across this beach towards some palm trees. It's like a forest of of palm trees. They start walking in through this forest, having a little look around, a little explore. There's kind of a path through the trees. And next thing, something crosses the path. Some little animal comes up to you. And I don't know, do they talk or just gesture? But you get the idea that they want you to follow them. So you follow whoever this is, whatever kind of animal just showed up and you follow this animal further along into the forest. In you go deeper until you come to a cave. Big rocks surround the cave and this little 
newfound friend of yours guides you in and in you go to the cave where it's much cooler, it's darker. But when your eyes get used to the dark, you start to see there's things glittering, there's things sparkling in that cave. Your eyes become accustomed to the light and you realize the whole cave, all the walls of it are covered in diamonds, sparkling diamonds of all shapes and sizes. You sit down in this magical cave, in the cool, in the darkness. You feel amazing, this little world of wonder. You and your new friend. And now it's time to leave the cave. Your little friend brings you out, leads you back along the path back through the palm trees. You say goodbye to your friend. You walk across the soft sand, climb back into your boat and set sail once again. Now your boat has turned back into your yoga mat. Notice how you feel and what you can hear Give your fingers and toes a little wiggle. Give your arms and legs a little stretch. Draw your knees up into your body, curl yourself into a little ball. And come on up to sitting. We'll sit in cross leg for a moment. Bring your hands together. Close your eyes. Come on up Tobe. And just close your eyes for a second. Notice how you feel and think of one thing now that you feel grateful for today. Namaste. So guys, before we finish, do you want to tell us what was the little animal who showed up in your relaxation? Mine was a I'll give you even the mic here for a sec. Um, mine was a monkey. Uh, but I didn't say goodbye to him because he said he'd come on to the pirate ship. Oh, really? He's going to stay with you. Pet. Oh, that's lovely. Okay, Thea, what was your animal? A who red panda. Oh, and did he stay with you or did you say uh, goodbye? He came with me. He came with you as well. Fair enough. Toby, come on over here. Toby. Mine was a dog and he also came with uh, me and the rest of the pirate crew onto the ship. What kind of a dog? Was he big or small? Or? He was quite big. Mm. Wait, he was, and he had like brown and white patches. Okay. Cool. Cool. So I hope that works for you guys. I hope you made a nice friend along the way. All right. And thanks very much for joining us for yoga. We'll unmute you now. Okay. Let me see. Namaste, everybody. <laughs> Okay, one second now. So, 